Hello, this is Dor from Coaching Circle. What I wanted to talk to you today about is feedback. There are so many ways I see around me of people giving feedback in a way that doesn't work. And actually in possibility management and in Coaching Circle, we have a different way of giving feedback to each other. And I wanna give you that distinction really quick. So one thing to make sure about feedback is that the person in front of you is ready to accept feedback. And it's not only about consent, it's also about is in what way the person likes to receive feedback. So one thing you can do is you can ask the person, like, I really want to know in what ways would you like to receive feedback? Are you more comfortable getting it after work or before work or before you go to sleep? Or maybe you want me to use a very nice word. Some people told me I want it straight to the point, like no bullshit, just give it to me harsh. Like there is, each person is different and we have different ways we want to receive the feedback. So before you even give it, you ask the other person in what ways would you like to receive feedback and you can give them examples. Then after you establish that, you ask the person, would you like to receive feedback? A lot of people are not asking that and it goes straight into giving someone feedback. You know when you did this thing, it, it was like this and like this. But wait, you didn't ask me even if I want to receive the feedback now. Maybe I have a terrible headache. Maybe I feel it's not the right time for me. So you ask, do you want feedback? Or maybe some people, they don't want feedback. Maybe they want to just like stay with their trouble right now or with their problem. They want to have their problem right now. They want to, doesn't want to find ways to solve it. So we don't want to rescue these people. So if it's your team member, someone in your team, you ask, do you need feedback for that? Do you want feedback? And if they say no, it's not going to work if you collide with them and give them feedback anyways. So that's the second thing about feedback. The third thing about feedback is this is not school where you, the feedback that you got is a grade on a board or, or your teacher telling you, no, that's wrong. So a lot of time we use this old kind of way of thinking about right or wrong, good or bad, giving each other grades about something like this is better than this. So when you give feedback like that, that goes into a world that usually we call low drama. It doesn't really create anything. It just creates drama. You did this better, uh, this is worse. It's like, it's not gonna work. So instead of that, you can use different kind of sentences, not use right or wrong, good or bad. You can say, all right, uh, this thing that you did didn't work for me. Maybe, I f maybe you can share, I felt angry when you did this thing because I felt like you're not respecting my space. And I don't work with people that don't respect my space. So next time, and then a lot of people like I was about to do, they jump into the coaching. So they say, and next time do that and that. But here when the way we give feedback, there is a separation between the feedback and the coaching. So the feedback is you tell them what didn't work for you. Like this didn't work for me that you drank coffee in my office. This is my space. This is, didn't work for me. Also, you can say what worked for you as feedback. It's not only about uh, what didn't work, what worked for you. So it worked for me that you kept my office clean when you got in with your coffee. But it didn't work for me that you didn't ask before you went into my office with drinking coffee there. You say, what well, worked, what well, didn't work, and, and then you can say, I have coaching with you for you next time. You want to hear that. Again, wait for them. They even want to hear the coaching. A lot of uh, people I work with and clients, they say, you can give me the coaching later or something. I'm not ready to hear that. Okay, and if they agree, it's like the coaching is next time before you come to my office, just shoot me a quick text. 
And when I get the text, I approve it and then you can go into my office and drink coffee. Or the coaching for you is to be more sensitive for people's offices and use your fear to go into people's offices. So there is different ways you give coaching about it and coaching it's like a big thing and it's not only about the small thing about getting into someone's office, giving feedback can help your team members to give better possibilities for each other or to work in a team. It can change your whole dynamic in your company or in your group. So feedback and coaching is an art. If you want to learn more about it, you can go in into our website, Coaching Circle, and check out more of these distinctions. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.